this week's More About Decor. I'm LaVon, and tonight we're going to talk about finishes. So normally we talk about design subjects and all kinds of things, but tonight we're going to talk about uh, the different kinds of sheens that you can get in your paints and your sealers. So let's get started. So we're going to be talking about four different kinds of sheens. First of all, I took this board and I painted it in this beautiful color of farmhouse green from Dixie Bell, one of the chalk mineral paint colors. And it's a really pretty celery green and really popular in today's decor. So we're going to take that board and we're going to paint on it with sealer, which we're going to use clear coat, yeah, clear coat in flat. And then we're going to use clear coat in satin, clear coat in gloss. And lastly, we're going to talk about gator hide. So these are all sealers. And let me just tell you that this paint would seal itself in 21 to 30 days. So really no sealer is necessary. But a lot of times whenever you want to put um, things like transfers on there or you know you just feel like you need a little extra protection on the piece that's when sealers come into play. So I'm going to uh, do these four different kinds of sheens and we'll talk about them and see the difference in how they look. Okay first we're going to use clear coat flat And I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to start over here and just paint a portion. of the board, okay? And we're gonna let that sit. I also use the sealers a lot whenever I am doing uh, decoupage. These are great for doing decoupage with. And I typically use flat. So next we're gonna use clear coat in the satin. We're gonna put that pretty much right next to our flat. That has a beautiful finish. One of my customers uses clear coat in satin pretty much exclusively, and she just loves it, and she recommends it to customers all the time. She sends people in. <laughs> and next we're gonna go with the gloss. They all even have a different consistency when you open the jar. Okay, looks like my brush had a little something, some residual paint in there. So we'll wipe that off and <laughs> try that again. Okay, that's not even dry and it's nice and shiny. And then lastly, we're going to put gator, gator hide on it. Okay, gator hide is a water resistant sealer. It's like a polycrylic. Um, so it's really good for sealing surfaces like um, tables and cabinets that you're going to have in the kitchen or bathroom. Okay, we're gonna let those dry, and then we're gonna come back and look at the results. So I'm holding it into the light, and we're gonna start down here, and that's our flat. So really, it doesn't look much different than the paint. Uh, like I said, I'm just holding it into the light so you can see sort of a reflection. Here's satin. That's satin from about here to here. So you can see it doesn't change things very much. 
it just gives it just a little more sheen than we have over here with the flat. So think about your walls and that's, you know, a little bit more uh, wipe offable, <laughs> if that's a word, um, the shinier it gets. So here's the gloss finish. So you can see that, uh, there's a good look in the light. When it hits the light, it catches it. So that's uh, good to know. It's going to be reflective. Okay. And then the last one, again, this is, it has a little bit of sheen. Um, so if you are using Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint to paint cabinets with, and you want to add a little bit of sheen to it that you can wipe off, this is what you're going to get. It's not super shiny. It's like, what I would say, it's like a step down from, this is a good hit in the light. It's kind of a step down from gloss, and it's not quite as far down as the uh, sheen of the satin. It's kind of similar, but I still think it's a little shinier than the satin. Okay? And the, the flat has absolutely no sheen. So you can see in the middle here that that's where there's absolutely no sealer. So um, I think that gives you a good representation of the different kinds of sheen. So I hope that was helpful. Next up is a little decorator trick. We're using gloss sealer and a silk screen stencil on the end of our board that was the flat sheen. So you'll see what a cool effect we can get with a stencil. So here I'm taking the gloss sealer and applying a silk screen stencil and painting the gloss sealer through the stencil. You could do this with different types of stencils, but you would probably want to use a sponge and not a brush if you were using a large stencil that wasn't a silkscreen stencil. Here's what this looks like on a wall. I think it's a pretty cool effect. This is actually in my own room. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor altuna. Stay well.